India was a non-entity at the world stage in the last century, struggling to get out of the shackles of colonization. But the image is changing rapidly and for good. It has appeared as a real game changer, rising tall among the power groups of the world. But to realize this unique space, India still lacks in one vital position, even though it is the fastest growing large economy, soon to be number three in few years. But in whole, India is largely a support-based economy while the immediate counterparts are all knowledge-based economies. This is a matter of serious concern for the Indian story to sustain for the coming decades as support economy assists global industries rather than creating cutting-edge innovations or technology. Does it really matter when the nation is already growing? Absolutely. Sure, India's domestic market is booming with a new 100 million affluent Indian set to spend on premium products, high-end gadgets, luxury watches and even private jets. But here is the catch. The wealth doesn't stay here. It flows unidirectionally to those who control the technology and that is the globalized model of wealth drain. Because technology is knowledge and knowledge yields power. For India, the choice is clear. Stay as a support economy or leapfrog into a knowledge-driven system to fuel an extra 2-3% to of growth. Remember, global power goes hand in hand with the power of technology and this is nothing new. With knowledge comes the capacity to build technology and with superior technology comes high efficiency and critical execution. These further yield high competitive advantage which leads to economic and industrial might. And from that, continuous cash flows build the military and diplomatic supremacy. This is the standard flowchart of progression.